this is Sherry Hayes with MomDelights.com. I'm the mom of 15, been homeschooling for 32 years, and I hope you enjoy this video. This video is being done in my car. Hmm. Yeah, I really had a nasty spill off of my deck, and I almost broke my ankle, but I believe there were angels there. It could have been lots worse. No one knew that I was out there. And I could have fallen back, hit my head, and been there still. <laughs> no. um, went to the ER, had it x-rayed and everything, and it's just going to take a while to heal. It's a very bad sprain. But I am thankful because God spared my life. I think he still has things for me to do. <laughs> so today I wanted to talk to you specifically. To, oh, well, go back to the story. I'm sitting here in front of the workout while my husband goes to work out and I sit and I wait because when I'm in the car then I have kind of quiet time to think and do things. So um, I wanted to talk to you today about some things. I want to offer you some free downloads on my blog momdelights.com of some really pretty delicate, well not delicate I guess because you know guys can use them too. I don't want to sound too feminine. <laughs> but they're colorful and they're nice and they're bright and they're fun and I don't know why I never used color before. I guess I was so stingy with color myself. I thought everybody would appreciate me not using color but I really like color in my notebooking pages and it's just a little bit you know it's just little thin like dash lines. It isn't a lot and they're really cute. And I also wanted to show you different things I did to put those things together to make little booklets. Like I told you last time, I broke down and bought myself a comb binder. Well, I wanted to show you what I did with my comb binder and give you these free notebooking pages, kind of show you what I've been doing with these uh, different things for different areas, such as what I call world studies, which is history, geography. I don't like to use the, the term social studies because... Um, I think that's like, I hate anything to do with socialism, but the, you know, I mean, that sounds really ignorant when I say that, but what I'm trying to say is I don't like the idea that we have like the society that's apart from who God created us to be, that there's no plan and all that kind of stuff. Social studies to me is like taking people, taking human beings and trying to put them like in these little square boxes. And I don't think they ever fit. I think that uh, unless we understand God's plan, we're never going to understand that anyway. But anyway, so, you know, history, geography, current events, uh, politics, civics, whatever you want to call it, all that stuff together. So I know last time I showed you, um, like, um, the U.S. Constitution thing where I already printed out what someone else has produced. Well, there, I've done some things for just regular unit studies. I've kind of come up with this idea the Lord gave me, okay? Instead of forcing my kids to study the things that I'm interested in or the things I think they need, I wanted to give them lots of choice to follow the things that they're interested in and yet have something that gave them some structure and gave them something to produce so that I also have proofs, you know, if anybody should ask, or they can feel a real sense of accomplishment. So I put together these two little booklets. Okay, now I did this cover on Canva. And what I can do is I can include this in the download for the notebooking pages when I create it so that you can have that. Um, but anyway, I've created this little booklet. And this little booklet says World Studies, Events, Bi uh, Biography, and Geography, right? And then it says Lists underneath. And so I wanted to explain that. Um, what I did was, okay, first I'll show you what I have in here. First, I have a timeline that I got from uh, Lori White's site. She does a King Alfred's English, and she has a site called The Shorter Word. I don't know if you can read this. Hopefully, it's not backwards. <laughs> um, this is The Shorter Word um, timeline of Western civilization. So what she's done is she's taken it from creation, right here, and she's put a timeline together, and it meshes all that we know of world history all together on the same timeline and ends with Jesus coming back, of course, because Lori loves Jesus and I love Lori. I love her stuff. Okay, then I also in here put some lists that I got from History Scribe. Now, History Scribe is something that I believe you can still, I know their, their site is still active, but it's, it's called, let's see, it's called West Vaughn Publishing. And what it is is it's a series of lists and notebooking pages that you can that you you buy you download, and you you print off you can print off the lists you print off the notebooking pages and the notebooking pages have like synopses of these things and essay questions and stuff. Well, I'm not necessarily using the notebooking pages, although they really are pretty cool. And if you did that, you know you'd be really blessed. 
The notebooking pages themselves are really good and they've given me ideas for my own notebooking pages and I think you can still download that but anyway so I took the lists they have lists of you know ancient history um, American history just all kinds of cool stuff they have maps like they have the age of discovery the pioneers this is US history colonial times North American Indians Civil War times they call them Indians Native Americans um, the 20s and World War One, on and on and on, and so Cold War till now, it is, you know, a little bit behind, but uh, then they have, like, these biography lists of different persons, this is U.S. biographies, um, Ethan Allen, Abraham Lincoln, John F. Kennedy, there's those, they have famous artists, they have, these are world-famous biographies, they have um, artists' biographies, they have famous Westerners, um, Let's see, they also have, they have all kinds of stuff. Then I also then went to heritagehistory.com, heritage, heritagehistory.com, I think it is. And, you know, I talk about that all the time. Well, I took their list and I put those in here too. I put the different, the different people that were important during the, these different times. And I also put a timeline that they give of the different characters, different, different events. And I put those lists in here as well. So I have those in here. And I put that all together. See, I have a whole bunch. So I put that together in here so that when my kids say, what should I study? I'll say, well, just go in your lists book and pick something out. If you can't, if you can't find, sometimes you just read a book and you find something you're interested in, right? And so then I have them do that. And then I have them one day a week. They go through and they take this. This is World Studies events, biography, geography, and this one says notebooking pages, okay, and so um, what I've done is, well, in the front, I require them, like, to, I have a number of outline maps, and I think there's a place called, I think it's Arizona, oh, this one I got from freeworldmaps.net, that was either in PDF, I think, or it was just a picture that I put in my, um, and I put I use Microsoft Publisher, but you could probably just put it in Microsoft Word, and I printed it out. And so, oh, here, let me do it. <laughs> it's actually here. Kind of, it goes like this. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I do teach at geography. Yeah. All right. So anyway, so they can fill this out, and they can put like the mountain ranges, the Alps, the Pyrenees, and all that. And this is the Iberian Peninsula, and all that kind of stuff. Um, this is actually South America that I put in here. And I think I got this one from, I forget. Anyway, you can get, find these free outline maps everywhere. Just do a search for it. Here's Africa, you know, for that one. And when something about when you, when you have a map and you fill it in yourself, it just, it just clicks more. You know what I mean? This is Eurasia. Or Asia. Yeah. This is the world. The whole world. Okay, now, you know, you've seen this stuff. So you basically got the basic idea. I got the United States. And all that. But this is the part that you're going to like. So, this is a biography notebooking page. Now, you see how pretty I got little colors and stuff. Oh, my daughter this morning, she decided she was reading in the Golden Book of knowledge about Ivan the Terrible. So, she took and she drew him, and I guess that's supposed to be Russia. Um... And she filled this out, and I had her do, uh-oh, she forgot to put the capital T. I was telling her, you got to put a capital. Anyway, so this is what she did today. She's 12. Okay. So she wrote about Ivan the Terrible. So I have a number of those that I put in this little booklet. And on the back side is room for a little bit of essaying, if you have more to write, right? So I did it double-sided. And then, in the back, I do believe, no, maybe I didn't. Okay, so that's what this is. It's a number of them. It's a number of a whole bunch of them. And so you can just fill those out and put that stuff in. And it's kind of fun, you know? I mean, kids pick different events. different. Oh, here it is. I know there was a different thing. Shh. I messed up. Don't tell anybody. So anyway, this is the event one. See, that was the biography one. This is an event or a place that you want to write about. And you put the title here, and here's a fact file, the years, something important to remember. You can put it right here, and then you just write about it. And on, on the back is more, 
for essay space. So that's kind of how I put this together, and I think it's going to be very successful. What, what happens is when you put it in this kind of a form, and your child goes through, then they have like, they're kind of making their own little encyclopedia. You know what I mean? You can do this with a three ring binder as well and just three hole punch it and stick it in there. It works both ways. Um, you know, I, you know, I went ahead and I went on Canva and I printed this out and I printed it smaller than eight and a half. I mean, I cut it out smaller than eight and a half by 11 so that I could laminate it and have some extra. But um, you can do whatever you want to. And, oh, and did I? Oh, I didn't do the fancy. I even have a fancy corner thing. But I didn't use it this time. I only use the roundy. But uh, I think you know the kids like the kids like having their own stuff and creating their own thing. And I think I think these are the cutest little notebook pages. I just, if I say so myself. <laughs> now, so that's part. You know, besides doing the constitution, this is what we're doing. They get to pick something if they just want to read a book and you know we have lots of history books I showed you we have many more than that and they can just find something they're interested in read about it and research it and they can just do their own little thing you know and it can be this could be for lots of different ages you know what I'm saying it could be from kids that are just beginning to write sentences to kids who like to write quite a lot and some kids you want to write quite a lot because they don't normally do that and so you make them <laughs> so anyway that's that so here's another thing that I did, and this is my reading and writing is what I called it, whatever. I got reading, writing, and arithmetic. <laughs> so I made this little notebooking thing up, and I put a conglomeration, a lot of stuff. For for the, uh, like, they're supposed to read books, right, whole books, and they're supposed to do something to show that they read it and kind of tell what kind of things they got out of it. That's basically what this is for. And so this is a little book log that I got from Heritage History. If you search in the file that tells you how to use it, they will have this that you can download and print out. It's really cool. And I, um, I put this in the front. Now, this is something I added for my little girl. This is from something called Story Starters. It's really old. But what it is is it teaches you how to um, draw characters. So it shows you how to do the different face shapes and the different eyes and on the back side is the noses because believe it or not in our artistic family she is really pretty artistic but she does not consider herself that because she has siblings, older siblings that are just crazy artistic so she always feels like she's bad when she isn't but she feels that way because she compares herself so I gave this to her to give her confidence and I'm sure you can find something similar someplace. But that's what I put in there. And she loves it. I mean, she used it, she used it today when she did her Ivan the Terrible thing. Anyway, so in here I have these little notebooking pages that I made. And this one is gorgy as well. This one says, um, I like or don't like this book, story, poem, because. So it can be a book, story, or poem. And there's the title. And it says, um, this is one of my favorite or worst parts. Right here. Um, a quote from the book. And draw a picture or place of a person or place right here. So that's pretty easy, right? It's, it's not intimidating. It doesn't take three years to do that. I mean, you know, you hate to do a book and like have to do one of those book reports, right? You know, it's just like basic, just to show that you did it. What did you get out of it? Make sure that they actually read it. I mean, I don't know if you got kids like mine, but <laughs> depending on the individual, they might kind of cut corners. Okay, now, and here is also, now this is, she actually did this. This can be used for any type of essay from anything, any book that they read, okay? The, I'm sorry, the shaking of the camera, it's, it's on this tether thing. <laughs> but anyway, so what I did was she put the title, she just read uh, Gluten-Free 101 because she's learning how to eat gluten-free. So she has five cool things about GF 101. And so she, in here she put her five things, her five points that she liked about the book. And that was, ta -da! we're done. She wrote it. So um, if she was older, I would like have her do a, a five point essay or something like that. But, you know, she's only 12. We got time, right? I can teach her that hard stuff later. So anyway, so that's what we're using in here, and uh, I think it's going to be another one of those little booklets that she can call her own. She can say, look what I did. She can be very happy, very proud that she did those things, and I think it's going to turn out well. Sorry that I've got glare. Or it's, it's late in the day, so the sun's weird. Um, so that's what I did with that, and so I think that um, I'm going to give these notebooking pages you know, out, and you can print them out yourself, and if you don't want to print them out in color, hey. 
I don't care. Use them like you like. <laughs> but I hope these will bless you, and I hope you can do some cool things. Um, I can, like I said, I can also give you, I think I'm going to give you this in the PDF, too, so that you can have these as well, but you don't have to use them like I use them. Go on Canva yourself and make some cool stuff, right? And then just do it for your kids, and then put your actual child's name on there. Put, to put their picture on the front of it. You know, this is... Uh, J J Jimmy's book of reading and writing, you know, and he has his picture smiling, you know, I mean, you can do cool things like that, you know, just take this picture, but anyway, it's, but it's physical, and it's nice to have physical, I mean, uh, I was having the kids, you know, they wanted to go on, uh, Google Docs, and they like to, like, type it in, and then print it out, and stuff like that, and I think that's good, too, because you have to learn typing skills and all that, but I think there's just a place for them to do physical writing and have something physical as well don't you? Anyway, I hope this blesses you. You have a wonderful day with your kiddos and know that God is taking care of you and he's taking care of your family because that is his heart towards you. And every problem in your life, he wants to turn into an opportunity of blessing. And you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Please like and subscribe.